Hello everyone, we are team 1 from class 3 SEMA and in this video we are going to talk about our final project of Rangka Pengembangan Project which is website Absensi. So first of all, I am going to introduce our team. So there is Anthony as the product owner, Alika Najira Wardani as the marketing person, Alexandra Fendi Gunawan and Muhammad Nawal Gibran that is responsible for the code side of things and then Muhammad Nawal Gibran is also playing as the Scrum Master so the database side of things we have Anthony and the only three is Kita Ahmad So our project is a attendance website that is token based that can be used for a regular employee attendance or it also can be used in e events for example. So what set us apart from the others? So we are real time so it will make it much easier to monitor the progress of the attendance and then we use a slim simplistic design without sacrificing the function and then we also use the token system which means that it is going to be much harder to fake attendance so this is our jira backlog we divided into four steps uh, for the first steps is uh, database we started at 30 september until 6 october 2022 uh, there are two people who work in this database, there are Anthony and then me, myself. Uh, what we do in the database is to design the database and then we create the database, uh, made the table and then uh, fill the field. After that, we do the testing to make sure that there is no error in the database. And then for the second step is to make uh, UI and UX design. Uh, this step is started at 7 October until 21 October 2022. So um, there are three people who work in this design. Uh, there are Reski, Alika, and then Fendi Gunawan. Uh, what we do in the, the UI and UX design is to make the storyboard and then choose the color palettes and then find the assets, uh, get the assets, and then we create the design using Canva. For the third step is uh, to coding to make the website. Uh, there are two people who work on this step. Uh, there are Gibran and Ben Alex. We started at 22 October until 19 November 2022. Uh, we made the website using Code Igniter framework with uh, Bootstrap and then CSS to help map uh, the look of the website. Uh, what we made on the website is uh, login and then dashboard. After that, we make the token. After all finish, we do the testing also to make sure that uh, everything is going well and there is no error on the website. So, for the last step is publish. We do from 5 December until 12. December 2022 what we do in the publish is to export the website and then uh, hosting the website after that we present the result we present the result uh, into the customer uh, all this backlog is already finished and we move into the next step Next is issue. Issue is basically just a component of the backlog that we that is put into a list that we can see all the status and all our summary. This is the list. And then next is cumulative flow diagram. Cumulative flow diagram or CFD 
but using this we can see track or track our progress in our project for example we can see that we started in september 20th and we are done in december 25th i presented done or finish the blue one is represented to do and the purple one represented in progress by seeing this diagram we can see that our project is finished the most top right is isn't fully green because uh, the issue has just been done and there is not enough time to make it all green next we will talk about our daily scrum our daily scrum meeting uh, we have a few pictures that we took this is us doing the scrum meeting from our school and our university uib Universitas International Batam. Next. Okay, next here I will explain about our token request and our token data picture. So, now first time, when you want to attend on this website, so you can, first thing, you can go to request open here. So, this is from the story. So, you can request first. And here you're gonna upload some picture and that's in fine to the attendant so just choose the form any picture you can use any picture to attend so I will use this picture and I'm gonna submit the picture and boom your picture is here but the token is not here so yeah you gotta go to the token generator feature and right here so I'm gonna go right here send to the user when the user have get the token and voila you get the token and you are already present in this website so just that for the request token and token generator thank you hello i will explain about how to edit our profile we will change all the profile details first go to admin tools and click user edit for example i will edit number two here to edit you just have to click and then you can change it for the employee i change to admin alika and the address i change to jalan nagoya and the gender is correct and the date of birth and the telephone number Then refresh and all of our profile details have been updated. So I'm here will explain about how to use persons token. First, we copy the token and go to the attendance and click enter the token. Pass the token, then submit. And now enter your entry time. For example, take AM, then click Submit. Here has been update on the last attendant list. If it's time to go home, click the pop out button and enter to pop out. For example, 5. This is our database. Our database has a uh, six table in here. So we start from table account. Table account is a uh, account of employee. They save the account of the employee. And here we have username, password, and daftar. Username of employee. And this is password of the employee. So if the employee want to move on to the dashboard page, they have to authentication the account in the login page. And the daftar is for mark that they already registered or not. If it is they already registered, they called one. And if it is they don't register, they call zero. And we move to the table karyawan. Here we have profile of the karyawan or the employee. 
here we have name the name of the karyawan or the employee and we have alamat the address of employee jenis kelamin is for gender of employee tanggal lahir is date of birth of employee the status status is for married or not and the telephone the id account they related to table account before and this is for profile picture the gambar is for profile picture and ID karyawan is a primary key of this table and ID division is related to table division so we move to table activity in here we have ID karyawan tanggal jam masuk jam keluar status and ID absent so the ID karyawan is uh, related to to the karyawan and we have tanggal it is when the employee clock the attendance and this is the jam masuk jam masuk is for clock in and jam keluar is for clock out and status is for the mark that employee have clock in or not if it is they clock in the status is masuk but the jam keluar is still zero or the clock out is still zero and they have to uh, click the out button then the status is changed to keluar and jam keluar or clock out is already built in and we move to token and this is the token table is for the authentication before uh, fill the attendance form so this is id token in here it is primary key and this is tanggal where uh, when the token is generated in here and this is the id karyawan id karyawan is related to karyawan and we have nama token in here this is the token after the admin generate the, the token save in here and we have status in here if it is the token is expired they can use it anymore and they have to tersedia where for the authentication and we have nama berkas in here this is for the proof that employee have worked in the in the office so we have tipe, tipe berkas ukuran berkas and keterangan berkas is for related to nama berkas or the uh, proof the proof picture so we move to the double divisi in here we have three divisi ruangan hrt and admin uh, we move to double department we move to double department for department of employee we have c2 for department we have pemasaran hrt and admin and uh, we move to login form in here this is for the authentication of user we have to uh, fill the username and password in here and i want to use the one account so if we already fill the form in here we click the submit or if it is they uh, we don't have account yet we click the daftar in here or register the account we have the account in here so we move with the already account in here so click the submit button and submit button will redirecting to dashboard page or the profile page in here on login page you can input your username and password and then click login button on dashboard page you can find out detail profile that is name address gender status and telephone number On presence page, you can input token for absenteeism. On request token page, you can request token for attendance. On user edit page, there is a list of eligible employee who can access website. On token generator page, where the admin can generate or end token attendance. So that is all from us. We are sorry if there are any mistake that was made in the video and thank you for watching.